What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dermy Wormy and I'm coming at you with um a different kind of video and uh I well actually no no I'm gonna stick to my guns on this because I used to do this for uh groups like uh Kotaku, IGN, uh Actually, I did it recently for IGN, now that I think about it, on a similar topic as well. And god dang, my, my glasses are all crooked and weird. It's driving me up a wall. Anyways, um, listen, I have made it very clear in streams. Uh, Devil made me do it, and I are putting out uh, reviews. I don't like the live-action One Piece. Okay, I, I've just come out and said it. I'm not a fan. I'm not enjoying enjoying it i prefer the anime i think the anime is better but i'm not coming out here and saying well actually here we'll do it this way when i'm critiquing uh the live action i am pointing out the differences between the live between the anime and live action how they did uh different storylines things like that how they cut characters out change certain characters things of that nature that that's when i start you know doing what I do when with the sh this show live action one piece that's where I'm focusing okay I'm focusing what is being presented to me and the one thing I can guarantee you it does give respect to the source material it does not push any modern ideology on you whatsoever okay None whatsoever. It is pure escapism. It's just my my thoughts on this situation actually do apply even here because uh, this is one of the moments that I don't enjoy having to do to this company, but I'm going to do it anyways because, hey, I'm a man of respect and principles from bounding into comics. Netflix One Piece encourages trans ideology by having Morgan Davis play Kobe. Okay. No. No, it doesn't. No, not, not in the slightest bit. Listen, when it came to Starfield, we had ideology dripping off of Starfield. Simply, all you had to do was not have us have to choose or confirm pronouns okay that's all you had to do but in this in this instant there's no ideology throughout the entire series none whatsoever my biggest criticism is changing storylines and characters okay that's my biggest criticism i actually do have have problems with you know certain gender and race change even if they are two side characters i still have problems with that okay that's a me thing i'm a purist though that that's why i have problems but let's let, let's read this netflix is one piece which has dominated the streaming services of viewing charts for the past two weeks encourages transgender ideology by casting morgan davis a young woman who now claims to be man to play kobe Having watched seven of the eight episodes, the series itself, through its storylines, does not actually push this transgender ideology. I, and ironically, there is a scene that makes it very clear that men, are, men and women are different. Wait, full stop, what? Oh, I, listen, listen, listen I'm not, I'm not lying. This is what this article is. This article from Bounding Into Comics, I stake my full, I, I like Bounding Into Comics, okay? But when it comes to sh garbage like this, I get very annoyed. I get annoyed when Kotaku does it. I get annoyed when IGN does it. I get annoyed when CBR, insert company, does this. This is scummy. This is freaking pathetic. And it doesn't even target actual issues. Okay, all this is, is, I'm just going to say his name, okay? I have respect for John F. Trent, but listen, this is just him bitching because somebody of a 
certain identity is in the series. Now she plays Kobe. Okay. She plays Kobe. Guess what? She does Kobe very well. I think she is a phenomenal Kobe. Yeah, she has that Harry Potter look to her and everything like that. But guess what? You know what? I should, I 100% should have done this beforehand, but we're going to do this right now. Kobe One Piece Anime. You know, uh, I'm going to try to pull up an image that doesn't spoil anything because uh, Kobe actually ends up having a very, very giant tran transition isn't the correct. Well, it is the correct word, but more in the sense of he becomes a different character, character growth, character arc. He becomes something different. This is Kobe at the beginning. This is what Davis is. Morgan Davis. What, what What's her name again? Sorry, I'm awful with names. Morgan Davis. This is the character. OK, here's her in the show. In the live action form here's her in the anime well him in the anime this is kobe okay live action anime they actually look very similar and in the show they actually act very similar kobe and the beginning of the series and all you have to do is watch the very first episode of the anime and the very first episode of one piece even though again i don't like the changes that they made but just simply watch them together guess what they act exactly the same kobe who is more of a shy kind of kind of your beta male you know, he, he's too scared to do anything. He's scared to go after his own dreams. He's scared to be the char the person he wants to be, which is a member of the Marines. Morgan over here does that perfectly. I loved Kobe in this series. I'm not going to lie. My problems are other things when it came to Kobe. And I have to say, Morgan did a finale fabulous job and before be this is now just coming to mind um i never see bound in comics saying uh pokemon is pushing transgender ideology now you might be wondering why the heck am i bringing up pokemon why the heck would i bring up naruto and in fact again i'm pretty sure even one piece does this why would they be pushing a transgender ideology? I, I wonder why. Oh, because the voice actors for at least Ash and Naruto and in fact also Boruto in the Boruto series, shout out to uh, Amanda Miller, are all women. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God, guys. The animes are pushing the agenda. No, no. Because in this instance, they found a fantastic actor who, granted, she identifies as male. Leave all that stuff in another area. Okay, she identifies as this way. She identifies as a boy. And she plays the character really well. And they're not out here saying, well, Kobe, Kobe identifies as a male, guys. Kobe identifies as a male. And now I'm going to start scrolling down here. Now, there, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Davis has some uh, weird, weird things within all her background that um, I think probably do need to get looked into. But let, let, let's look at this. While the show seemingly acknowledges the difference between men and women, it doesn't necessarily rebuke transgender ideology. This is no better than when the the weirdo stands of One Piece try to come out and say, well, they never actually say Luffy's asexual or gay or something. We're just going to say that they do, though. That's no better, John F. Trent. That's no better than the thing yet you're trying to be better than. Okay, that that pisses me off, which claims that women can be men and yeah, 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 yeah. And it's ideology that Netflix and the show production company Tomorrow Studios embraced with the casting of Davis as Kobe. No, she was just good for the role. She act, in my opinion, I think she did a perfect job in this role. 
why is this such a problem? Oh, because and then they go through her history, which is um not gonna lie, uh it's kind of questionable and scary. We'll, we'll we'll finish up with this. Because they're talking about, well, in all these past moments, she talked about how, you know, we need more trans stories, more talking about ideology. Here's a bunch of indie films that she was a part of. Here's this she was a part of. Then you come down here. It's likely Davis would have also used the One Piece show to push her trans ideology onto fans of the series through the show's promotional tour. She previously pushed ideology in the interview with Vogue saying, I think we need more diversity, div I'm not even going to be saying this, a diversification behind the camera. There are trans stories, but not being written or directed or lit by trans person, by a trans person. Well, okay, okay. So an interview with Vogue, not about this, but about something else she talked about being trans and trans stories and all this stuff okay she did that over here but the promotional tour if they actually did one i don't know if they did one for one piece now that i'm thinking about it I, i'm willing to bet the uh it depend i don't know what if they all fall under the strike or what but uh okay over here she didn't she did it when it came to One Piece, but because she did it over here, that means she could have over here. But she didn't do it over here, so still, we need to be outraged that they just cast this person. Again, look, look, right here, here's Kobe. Kobe, okay, Kobe? Anime Kobe. Oh, crap, I showed you some future stuff, but here, here's Anime Kobe, okay? Here is Anime Kobe. Man, man. Really, really important stuff to gripe about and complain about, right? I mean, look at this. This is obviously stuff that we need to be worried about. Right? Wrong. Absolutely 100% wrong. This isn't something to be complaining about, to be crying about, or to at least write an article about. 100% this is just a clickbait article from Bounty into Comics, and I'm making this video solely because I think better of Bounty into Comics, and this is garbage from them. Outright garbage. Morgan Davis does a fantastic job as Kobe. That's all I need to say. But let me get your guys' thoughts on all this down in the comments below. Are you actually kind of annoyed that Bound in the Comics put out an article like this? Just complaining about an actress who did a fantastic job in her role? Let me know about that in the comments down below. If you like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. Share it out, friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, guys. And please check out our sponsors, Coffee Brand Coffee. What's going on, guys? Listen, I don't know about you, but uh, I like to indulge in some of the uh, li liquids of fun times okay and oftentimes i wake up the next day with a, with a headache and stuff like that and to be honest the only way that truly helps cure these uh morning morning blues as as i would call them would be coffee and you know who puts out good coffee guys coffeebrandcoffee.com listen Coffee Brand Coffee is an American-based company. It, it was founded by the quartering. He's going out there. He just wants to sell you coffee. He doesn't want to sell you a political opinion. He doesn't care what your politicals are. He doesn't even care what your cultural opinions are, okay? He just wants to come out here and sell good American coffee sourced here in the States. It, it, it is... It, it is all fantastic and amazing. You have 4,000 verified reviews. Most of them are five star, four star. People are loving this. And I don't blame them because when you take a look at some of these flavors, you got bourbon flavored coffee. God dang, that sounds amazing. You got gunpowder green tea. 
I like the boom boom sticks and I want to know what's going on right there. And when I drink cocoa, I haven't drank it in a while due to the keto diet. You know, that, you know, trying to lose some weight. But when I do drink cocoa or anything like that, I like some sweetness. I like some richness and I like some enjoyability in my cocoa. That's why I'm taking a look over here at this rich caramel cocoa. I mean, just 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 think of how amazing it is and guys if you go to coffee brand coffee which links will be in the description down below you can use coupon code back taco one word back taco and you can get 10 percent off your purchase that's coffeebrandcoffee.com coupon code back taco